A veil of mist shrouds an empty playground. The eerie silence is shattered by the sound of a car pulling up. As the dawn breaks, a peculiar scene unfolds. A playground, once filled with laughter and joy, now stands deserted, its emptiness amplified by the haunting mist that envelops it. The only sound that dares to break the all-encompassing silence is the creaking of a swing, swaying ominously as if moved by an unseen hand. Into this eerie tableau steps a figure, his silhouette barely discernible through the thick veil of fog. This is Detective Mark Harris, a man whose brooding presence speaks of a troubled past. His eyes, hardened by years of witnessing the worst of human nature, scan the playground with a grim determination. There's a chilling investigation ahead, and he's the one who must unravel the tangled threads of this mystery. Suddenly, a horrific sight stops him in his tracks. There, amidst the innocent backdrop of the playground, lie two lifeless bodies. The grim discovery starkly contrasts with the childlike innocence of the surroundings, a cruel reminder of the horror that can lurk in the most unexpected of places. The raw emotion on Mark's face is palpable as he takes in the scene, a heart-wrenching tableau that is all too familiar to him. As Mark steps forward, the mist seems to part for him, revealing the full extent of the horror. The swings continue to sway, the only witnesses to the unspeakable act that has transpired. The tragedy is not just the loss of two young lives, but the loss of innocence that the scene so cruelly represents. Yet the playground is not just a crime scene. For Mark, it's a chilling mirror that reflects his own troubled past. The echoes of his own lost innocence reverberate through the foggy air, intertwining with the grim task at hand. For Detective Mark Harris, the sight is all too familiar. Two lifeless bodies, their innocence lost forever. The playground, once filled with laughter, is now a crime scene buzzing with activity. The stark contrast between the playground's past and its present is a chilling reminder of the tragedy that has occurred here. Detective Mark Harris, a man whose past is as murky as the morning mist, steps into the scene. His eyes, hardened by years of witnessing the unimaginable, scan the playground. It's a haunting panorama of childhood innocence lost to a grim reality. Mark's interrogation of potential witnesses commences. His questions, both empathetic and intense, aim to unravel the mystery that has shrouded the playground. Each witness he speaks to, each testimony he hears, is a potential key to unlocking the truth. A mother who saw an unfamiliar man lurking near the playground. A shopkeeper who noticed a strange car parked nearby. A teenager who heard an argument in the middle of the night. Every snippet of information, every fragment of a memory could be crucial. As Mark probes deeper, the testimonies start to form a jigsaw of possibilities, a myriad of faces, a plethora of motives. Some testimonies align while others clash, creating a complex tapestry of uncertainty. Yet amid the chaos, patterns begin to emerge. An unfamiliar man, a strange car, a late-night argument. Three separate incidents, yet potentially intertwined, hinting at a sinister plot. But the puzzle is far from complete. The pieces are scattered, the connections vague. Mark's task is far from over. His experience tells him that the truth often hides in plain sight, masked by the ordinary and the mundane. As the day wears on, Mark continues his quest for the truth. Each witness he interrogates, each testimony he gathers, brings him one step closer to solving the mystery. But the path is winding, the clues are elusive. Each witness offers a piece of the puzzle, but the image remains unclear. The playground, a once cherished haven for children, now holds secrets that only Mark can unlock. As the sun dips below the horizon, Mark knows he's in for a long night. For the playground holds more than just memories of laughter. It holds the key to a mystery that's just beginning to unfold. As Mark delves deeper into the case, the ghosts of his past begin to surface. The specter of his childhood, a time of innocence lost in the shadows, starts to echo in the grim reality of the present. Each witness interrogation, each piece of forensic evidence seems to pull him back, back to a time he spent a lifetime trying to forget. The case is more than just a puzzle to solve. It's a mirror, reflecting the darkness he's fought so hard to escape. His memory, usually a reliable ally, betrays him with vivid flashbacks. A deserted playground, a chilling echo of laughter, the sting of betrayal. The investigation is no longer just about justice for the victims. It's a journey into the depths of Mark's soul, unearthing wounds that never truly healed. Mark's past and the present case intertwine, blurring the lines between professional duty and personal vendetta. Forensic evidence paints a chilling picture, but a shocking twist awaits. 
As the sun casts long shadows, the forensic team plunges into their meticulous work, turning the playground into a grim tableau of science and deduction. With the precision of a surgeon, they dissect the scene, each piece of evidence a crucial stitch in the fabric of this dreadful narrative. The playground, once a haven of laughter and innocence, is now a silent speaker of a horrifying story. Each swing, each slide, each sandbox, holds potential clues. The forensics team, our silent protagonists, are the translators of this disturbing language, decoding the silent whispers left behind on the cold, hard ground. Unseen by the naked eye, fingerprints, fibers, and footprints weave a tangled web of connections. The microcosm of the crime scene mirrors the complexity of the outside world, where everyone is connected, knowingly or unknowingly, in a vast, intricate network. As the web of evidence tightens, the connection emerges, casting a shocking new light on the shocking new light on the investigation. The victims, two innocent souls, share an uncanny link to our brooding detective, Mark Harris. This revelation, like a bolt from the blue, sends a shiver down Mark's spine. His past, it seems, is not a closed chapter, but a ghost haunting the present. Each piece of evidence, each microscopic clue, draws Mark deeper into the heart of the mystery and closer to his own past. The forensics, the silent whispers of the playground, lead him down a path he never expected to tread. As the sun dips below the horizon, the playground is left once again to its eerie silence. The forensics team packs up, leaving Mark alone with his thoughts. The playground, the scene of the crime, is now a mirror reflecting his troubled past. The evidence doesn't lie. The truth is closer to home than Mark ever anticipated. It's a race against time as Mark confronts the suspect in a dimly lit alley. The tense atmosphere hangs as thick as the fog swirling around the detective. Mark's heart pounds like a drum, each beat echoing the seconds slipping away. His eyes, hardened by years of witnessing humanity's darkest corners, bore into the shadowy figure before him. The stakes have never been higher. The suspect, a specter from Mark's past, stands defiantly, a stark silhouette against the dimly lit backdrop. He's the final piece of the puzzle, the key to unlocking the truth. But the truth can be a double-edged sword, and Mark knows this all too well. Words are exchanged, accusations thrown like daggers through the chilly night air. The confrontation is a dance, a deadly tango of secrets and lies. The suspect challenges Mark's resolve, taunting him with veiled threats and cryptic riddles. But Mark, our dogged detective, doesn't falter. He's come too far, lost too much to back down now. Suddenly, the suspect reveals a shocking connection to the victims, a revelation that lands like a punch to Mark's gut. The truth, when it comes, is as cold and brutal as the alley they stand in. It's a revelation that intertwines Mark's past with the present, a cruel twist of fate that leaves him reeling. The confrontation escalates, the tension stretching taut as a bowstring. Mark's every instinct screams at him to act, to prevent another tragedy from staining his hands. He's a man on the edge, walking a tightrope between justice and vengeance. The showdown reaches its climax, a culmination of desperation and determination. Mark, our brooding detective, finds himself at a crossroads. Will he succumb to the darkness he's fought so hard to keep at bay, or will he rise above it, a beacon of justice in a world shrouded in shadows? In the face of danger, the truth emerges, shattering Mark's world. The case may be closed, but for Detective Mark Harris, the scars of this investigation will linger, a haunting reminder of the high price of truth. As the sun sets over the playground, Mark finds closure, but not without a cost. The haunting echoes of a case now solved are etched into the crevices of his mind. The playground, once a symbol of innocence, is now forever marred by the memory of an unthinkable crime. In the fading light, Mark confronts the ghosts of his past and the grim reality of his present. The scars from this case aren't merely skin deep, they've burrowed into his soul, leaving a permanent imprint. His journey through the labyrinth of this investigation has been harrowing, reshaping him as it revealed the uncomfortable truth. Yet in the face of such adversity, Mark stands resolute. His spirit, though bruised, remains unbroken, his pursuit of justice unwavering. This case may have ended, but for Mark, the fight continues. The case is closed, but for Detective Mark Harris, the wounds remain fresh. His pursuit of justice continues.